Welcome to Dropbox 101. Dropbox is still my most used app and it has been for over two years. I'm going to show you today um, a few basic uses for Dropbox. But first, let's go to the Dropbox website. Um, we're going to go back and forth between the PC and the iPad. And um, we're going to take a look at, again, some of the first um, the basics that you kind of need to know. Now, if you look to your right, you can see a logon uh, place. And later on, you can log on from any computer uh, from that spot. And um, you can access your uh, files through a cloud. There's also a video here. Take the time to watch the video. Um, you can kind of see a lot of the possibilities for Dropbox um, from here. We're going to want to download Dropbox, and you're going to want to download it on your main computer that you use. Remember, Dropbox is like your filing cabinet on your main computer. However, everywhere else, it is in a cloud. I'm going to show you my filing cabinet um, right here. This is my Dropbox, um, how I have my files organized. Um, so they kind of make sense um, to me, and um, hopefully I can find them all when I need them. Uh, basically, you can find them from anywhere. I use Dropbox on my phone, um, on my iPad, and, and anybody else's computer that I need to use. Um, you know, if I if I need to, you know, be somewhere else and I don't have anything with me, which is, well, that's kind of rare. But um, it's very important again to download Dropbox on your main computer because that is your main hub, and that is your um, your filing cabinet. Now you're going to find your uh, Dropbox files just like you would um, any other document folder file that you've created in the past. Um, you can organize it just like any other one that you've um, done in the past. Um, we're going to now go to the iPad and you're going to download the uh, iPad app for Dropbox which is free. And again, you'll see this is, uh, this is what my iPad Dropbox looks like with all the files um, that I have on my desktop. And they are updated um, immediately. So if I uh, put a file in Dropbox, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to create a file back on my laptop. We're going to head back to the laptop and we're going to go in Dropbox. And we're going to create a file. And from this file, it will be accessible anywhere. Again, it's cloud storage, uh, so there's no more carrying around those um, those uh, thumb drives and the and the disks and the old floppy disk. Um, you are totally um, able to be um, to be um, accessed without paper. So hopefully, we can all become paperless. I'm going to create a file called uh, Let's do 2013. Okay, 2013 files. We don't have anything in there yet. But I'm going to create that, and then I am going to go back, and I'll show you on the iPad. Um, I'll show you on the iPad how easy and how fast this is immediate. So we're going to go right back to iPad right now, and um, we're going to open up the iPad real quick. Okay, we put a video in there. Let's put a video in there. All right, and there's the iPad. We're going to go into Dropbox. See it down at the bottom, towards the center. And we're going to open it up, and you see 2013 files. It was there immediately. We can open it up, and the file I carried over that was on my desktop, I put it into that file, and it's right there. And we're going to go back to the desktop, and I will show you how to um, create some more fold files and folders and move things around. what we're going to do is we're going to move uh, folders and we've got the extra folders right there. We, fi we filed them in Dropbox. We're going to go back to the iPad. We're going to open up a file that has an attachment. We're going to open it. You see the open in and you're going to open it in Dropbox and you're going to figure which file you want to file it in. We're going to file it in, uh, we're going to file it, we're going to file it in 2013 files because that's our new folder we just created and you can see it was just added immediately. And the amazing thing is that when you go back to the laptop, um, if you're watching both of them and you've got them sitting side by side, you can actually see the transfer. It is absolutely amazing how fast um, you can go back and forth. And for someone like me, I sometimes will have a laptop, another laptop, my iPad, my iPhone. I'm transferring files everywhere and um, working on a couple things. And uh, it's amazing. Um, how quickly you can transfer data, how easily. And so you can see there at the bottom, it just got transferred, it just got added. 
put it right in the file that I wanted it in, which is my fictitious 2013 file. And you can see 2013 right there. And uh, again, this is just a marvelous way, another way to be paperless and also be mobile. Um, I have actually been at the gym on the elliptical reading a book, and I checked my email periodically, and I got an email that somebody needed something immediately.